Registered Phenomena Code 380 Object Class Beta Red Hazard Types Biohazard Ideological Hazard Microscopic Hazard Transmutation Hazard Containment Protocols Instances of RPC-380-1 are to be contained in standard airtight containment cells. Personnel requesting to interact with instances of RPC-380-1 are required to wear Class IV biohazard suits. Amnestic use may be granted to personnel after interacting with instances of RPC-380-1. At least 12 vials containing RPC-380 solution are to be kept in a secure cryogenic locker in the office of Dr. Eckert Lettner. In the event of a breach of containment, Class A biohazard protocol is to be initiated. Description. RPC-380 is an anomalous form of blood-borne virus that alters the psychological and physical makeup of infected humans. RPC-380 will enter a one- to two-week incubation period upon affecting an individual. After the incubation period, individuals infected by RPC-380 will begin to experience symptoms such as fever, nausea, dissociative amnesia, internal pain, and decreased motor ability. Upon development of symptoms, individuals infected by RPC-380 are then designated RPC-380-1. About two to five days after the onset of symptoms, instances of RPC-380-1 will begin to experience the long-term effects of RPC-380. RPC-380 will begin to transform internal organs into miniaturized structures of Ptolemaic Egyptian architecture. Organs transformed by RPC-380 will either be regurgitated or forcibly removed by RPC-380-1. Despite the loss of major organs, RPC-380-1 instances will remain alive. RPC-380-1 instances will enter a state of obsessive behavior about two weeks after infection, attempting to arrange removed organs in patterns resembling urban planning. Addendum 1 The first known record of instances of RPC-380-1 was noted by Edward Linderbaugh in 1908. Linderbaugh documented in his journal his encounter of a group of natives outside the Temple of Dhaka, near the present-day Aswan Dam. Following Linderbaugh's departure, four vials of RPC-380 infected blood were frozen and put into Edward Linderbaugh's personal collection. Following Linderbaugh's death in 1913, the vials were successfully brought into authority custody. Addendum 2 In 1997, an outbreak of RPC-380 was discovered by authority personnel. The infected individuals were successfully brought into custody and a full-scale documentation process of the symptoms and effects of RPC-380 began and was completed in 1998. Approximately five months after the outbreak, fragments of the original mosaic at the Temple of Dhaka taken by Linderbaugh surfaced. Excerpts from Linderbaugh's writing suggest that RPC-360 was utilized as a type of entertainment for certain ancient Egyptian monarchs. The men who constructed things from their flesh now would, in complete, the powerful pharaoh, Vampiric Menehep, would select their man to engage in competition. The tournament's fierce, the prize would be many concubines. When Menehep was amused, the buildings villages, would be spared his sadistic wrath. Addendum 3 Instances of RPC-380-1 have begun developing hostile behavior towards other instances of RPC-380-1. Instances of RPC-380-1 will now actively attempt to locate and attack other instances of RPC-380-1. RPC-380-1 will attempt to breach containment in order to attack other instances. RPC-380-1 will vocalize messages directed at other instances at all times, except during discharge of affected organs. A list of recorded vocalizations is available below. I can see you preparing to attack. Why are your troops on my border? We will raise your cities. I will pillage you. For the glory of Amun-Ra, I will not submit. 